beautiful. Stoked to get a big one of those. Whoa. Beautiful red. Oh, I oh, know we're still on. <laughs> Bam. Well, bam. <laughs> well, let's get ready to go fishing. Okay. <laughs> You're keen. <laughs> Good morning, Rickstar. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bright, hey? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Milo for Ricky, coffee for Dad, and one of those weird sachet coffees for Quinn. <laughs> he likes them. <laughs> and I got you though, bro. Okay, Rex, your one. Good. Pretty hot, but good. Okay. Hi, welcome back to Muddy Feet. This week I'm heading out fishing with a bunch of absolute champions, the furthest north I've ever been. Well it looks like you're just getting out of here. <laughs> just the essentials. I think my camera person's a bit poked. Hey camera person! Today we'll be fishing just out in front of the Sahara, the Sahara Desert. <laughs> the Pucky Stream. Today we're going to be launching this big beautiful beast of a boat at the most northern end of 90 Mile Beach. Make it, we're gonna make it. Woo! One end of the rainbow is there. Pot of gold must be at that end out there. Oh, look, there it is out there, the pot of gold. That's where they are. Our youngest crew member for today is my beautiful daughter Ricky, who's been up here in the far north with me for the last week doing awesome fishing adventures. Unfortunately though, today all of those adventures have caught up with her all at once and she has to sneak off to the cabin for a bit of a nap. I'll see how far up we are, I thought it looks quite cool. Our first stop for today is at this beautiful wash rock that we've spotted. We decide to stop off, throw a few stick baits and soft baits and see if there's any big fish lurking. I let my soft bait slowly sink down to the bottom and as soon as it makes contact, well bam, it gets inhaled. It's a bit of a weird fight and when I first see the fish, I misidentify it as a snapper. But it's even better than that. Oh, I mean, it's a real big one of those. Goldie! We'll take that, fast. Yee hee hee! Stoked to get a big one of those. How's that? Real big goldie. Yum! These guys are absolutely delicious. Stoked to have one of those. 
Pretty stoked to start the mission off with the Goldie, so as quick as I can, I fire another soft bait back down, and sure enough, nibble, 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 oh. wha-bam, Missy Tettle. On the drop. I'm the first on the Missy Tettle reel today, but I'm sure I won't be the last. Next up to strike is Paris, and he's hooked up to a beast, and busted. Oy! It's not quite the same as a Missy Tettle, but it's just as fun to watch. Unlucky, I'll pop that back. This place is pretty untouched and it shows because as soon as my next soft bait makes it down to the bottom it gets nailed again and I'm hooked up to a nice heavy fish. This one turns out to be a very good eating size snapper. Oh, nice tamudi, not too bad at all, nice dark fish too, beautiful condition, be a great eater. Yum, in the bag. On the softy. Next up to strike is this little kingfish and although he's just a wee fella, these guys are pretty strong and I find the easiest way to manage them is to tuck them up under the chicken wing while you carefully unhook them and then they can be safely released. Good go, little rat kingy, not the right flavour, wrong size. Choo -hoo. Mean. Things went a little bit quiet at this spot, so we decided to cruise a little bit further up the coast in search of some more fishy activity. We didn't get very far before we spotted some kahawai Ooh. working on the surface. Yo. We were all pretty stoked that we'd found the kahawai, so we harvested a few quickly. We wanted a few for bait later on because we wanted to do a bait snapper session and Quinn was pretty keen to set a big kahawai live bait. Yeah, oi! Catch your release brother! Oh, that's a good bust up, that was a good splash bro, that looks serious. Something off the bottom. Don't know what it is, it's only little. It's always cool to see what's under the school, so. Yay! The piggy! It's a bit small to eat, but pretty cool to catch. I love catching these things. A little bit bigger, and you'd be in the bag, mate. It's a lucky day. It really is important not to have too much slack or bow in your line because very often you'll find wha-bam! Your soft bait will get picked up on the drop. Yeah, this is bigger. This one's bigger, bro. Feels like a good snapper, I might need a net bro in a sec. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful bro in the bag. Oh, oh six pound? Six pound-ish? Yeah, real nice eater. Beautiful. Beautiful red. You're on. 
that's a nice snap too. Very mean. It's a good fish. Nice fish coming aboard. Oh, it's good. <laughs> oh, it's good, it's good. Oh my God, the net. Oh, not yet, I'm getting smoked at the moment. But I will. Get the ball, get the ball. Bro, it feels like almost borderline like a Trevally. I'd love it to be a Trev. It might be a Trev, bro, it's got little quick tail beats. Oh, it might be a Trev. Oh, come on. Getting railed, bro. So, you're getting railed too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cousin. Yeah. What are you up to, bro? Just watching, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, you know. A support crew. Yeah, bro, the bro's on a hog. Uh, get warmed up you know, first day. Being a good host. Yeah, it's a Trev. Man, called it. Look oh. at it too, it's a hog. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> we got sashimi! Woohoo! Stoked, bro! You're getting owned over there! Yos! Yo, drop him out there, boy. <laughs> bro, that is a big dog. Okay, I'm clear. Look at that. Yes! Hey, look at that! It's a hump head trevally even. Beauty! Right. Beautiful! Check it out. Beautiful Trevs. That's my Trev. What a beast. Stoked with that. Absolute hog. And the Bro Quinn is on a solid fish. Doing battle. <laughs> Bro, that might be a little king. So it's got it some boogie, eh? Yeah, that looks kingy ish. Lively out west, bro. Lively. Oh, I love how It's pretty cool, eh? Just everything. About, what, four minutes, five minutes into the battle? <laughs> He's still pretty strong, eh? Might be a legit king. Yeah. And there's just, there's just fish coming aboard everywhere. Hey, Not bad, bro. On. Nice snap. Oh, Donkey trebs, flying snappers, and the bro's hooked up to what's almost certainly a kingy. It's looking very good. Yeah, you're about eight minutes in, bro, by the looks. Colour, that's a king, bro. It looks alright, too. I think that's a keeper all day, bro. Yep. Do it the easy way. Yup. Nice. We're having sashimi tonight. Got the job done. <laughs> now we were certain there was some decent kingfish in the area, and Quinn decided it was the perfect time to put down a big kahawai live bait. For real live bait. Send it. Quinn does send it, and ten minutes later, the live bait gets eaten. It's a massive kahi too, bro. Oh. I oh, know we're still on. You'll have to give them heaps, bro. It's shallow. Okay, get lines clear. Other lines clear. Okay, we're gonna have to chase it. Oh no. At perfectly the wrong time, I've accidentally hooked into a kahawai. But the priority is definitely to chase down Quinn's fish. I'm going to have to try and keep this kahawai out of the way and get it sorted quickly while we focus on dealing with this fish that's eaten the massive live bait. It's good that he's going that way, we want him out there. This is a real one. Okay. Oh. Right. Yeah, follow him out. It's good, bro. Ideal. We get lucky when this massive kingfish decides to run for deeper water. Shantane, our skipper for today, quickly takes advantage and follows the fish slowly out into deeper waters in reverse. Try and keep him on that corner. All day. 
You can probably tell this isn't the first time that Quinn the Kai Machine has dealt with a big kingfish like this, and slowly but surely he starts to get this fish under control. That is a hog of a fish. That's pretty good. Bro, if it is one, it's a hog. I think it is. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. Yep, see. It's a king. It ate a big bait. Yeah, that's a proper donkey, bro. Okay. Yeah, boy. Okay. Yeah, get that gaff in him, bro. Yeah, boy. Bro, oh. nah, he's been attacked by something oh, before or had a poke like with a spear. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a spear, that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, the got the horse on board. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, boy. After Quinn landed this absolute donkey of a kingfish, things went pretty quiet in this spot. So, with a limited amount of time left, we decided to make a move back down the coast and target some big snapper with baits. There it is. It's my favourite rig. A hook and a little sinker. Sometimes I use one of those little pink things and that makes it even better. That's it. KK, 10 bar row, and snap a fresh mullet. Sending up the goods. Quinn's on. Oh, bastard. Oh, no, we've got a bastard. Oh, I got him. Whoa. I can't believe that the second hook went in the bag, bro. And I felt it and it was on the outside. And I just done a big rolling scoop and managed to get him in the bag. I didn't even think I had him, bro. On the little kabura. Mean, bro. Solid. Yeah. Oh, double! Oh, I almost got the double, double. Oh. Good fish, dude. Yo, perfect. Nice fish, bro. Nothing really small coming aboard, all good size. Solid eater. Don't let Quinn see this one. Don't let him see that. Hey. <laughs> it's usually the Quinn special, those ones. I got the hiwi hiwi. Yes. <laughs> the curse is lifted. The curse has been passed. It wasn't the crocs. <laughs> it's true, I did it a bare feet. Little buggers. There it is. It's a record too. I get the smallest hiwi hiwi wins. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest kingfish and the smallest hiwi hiwi. 
We accepted the Hiwi Hiwis as a clear sign to call it a day on the fishing. But we did still have one stop on our agenda. We were going to make a quick stop and see if we could find some big, fat, green lip mussels. Just got romantic. Oh. <laughs> I'm flying, I'm flying. <laughs> yeah, if we poke in the gap, we'll be able to get off easy and just walk over. These are absolutely beautiful green lip mussels, stunning size, mean way to polish off an epic trip, eh brother? Yeah, good sir. It's been an absolute banger today. We're eating well tonight. Very well. Even when you don't have to die for them in there this week. Yeah bro, even keep on the old, the old safety footwear. Yeah. Bro's got the safety footwear as well. No worries. Bro, down here they're like all stonkers. Oh, oh. Bro, stunning. Spoils in this country, brother. Lucky last. Alright. Mission complete. Oh, how were you holding it so casually? <laughs> Hello, today on <laughs> Got the guns going. <laughs> TV, bro. <laughs> you want to see how big they are? Yeah! They're massive. Wow! Beautiful, eh? How are they so big? Because they're untouched. People leave them alone out here. It's too far away for most people. Our goal for today had been to gather fresh seafood for our friends, family and neighbours. So with fresh mussels, kingfish, trevally and snapper on board, we felt that this day had been a smashing success. So we packed up our gears and headed for shore. Stupid little crab bit me when I was just doing nothing. I was doing nothing to you. You can go free because I'm not a meanie. It was stink though. If you're keen to see what we do with this beautiful seafood, don't bail out just yet because the next part of the plan is to head back to Paris's place and turn it all into a delectable feast. Bam. 
Thank you both very, very much. Epic hosts, legendary, thank you. Awesome day out. 22 kg. What did I say? 23? Yeah. yeah. Bro, 22 all day, bro. Just over 20, 22, 40, bro. It's a hog, yeah. man. 22, 40, bro. Shop. Mean fish, brother. Can't complain with that. A whole lot of meat on the big kingfish like that. We can have some yummy sashimi. You know, the sashimis. You happy there? Sweet. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. What if I'm not happy? Then I'll, what do we need to do to fix it? I don't know. Oh, well, sweet as. Check that on our table. Very beautiful stuff. The fins go to back to Tangaroa and to all the little creatures in Tangaroa to clean up. But the frame and the head and all the meaty pieces will go in the smoker. It kind of looks like a stingray or a crab head now. Yeah. <laughs> really full of smoker. Fillets, frame, there's the belly flaps and that big beautiful head ready for the smoker for sure prepped up for the smoker crikey Push. <laughs> Oosh, look at that it's blazing Doing a pretty good job with those rocks. <laughs> the half shellies are coming out just nice. Beautiful work. Absolutely beautiful. Stacked and loaded. Won't be too long until we can have a bit of munch. Mean. Sorted. Good morning Rex. Alright, let's check out the smoked fish, eh? So we left it overnight to set and hopefully here it is. It's all golden and delicious. Yum! The mullet with the roe. There's that big kingfish frame, all our little mullies. There's massive kingfish belly flap. The big kingy head. And the smaller kingfish all looks beautiful. Golden and delicious. Yeah, you hold that and I'm going to start pulling it out and keep you putting it in the bin. Oh, yeah, look at that head. Golden. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Whoa, look at that belly flap. That's beautiful. That's a piece of art, that. Wow. Is it gonna all fit? Kind of. Kind of. Wow, that's beautiful though, eh? Yeah. Yum. Put that one that way. That one that way. Maybe we'll pick up this one for breakfast, eh? Yeah. Fold and wabam. Wabam. <laughs> okay. 
The next morning, I refired the smoker to do a batch of those beautiful, fat, green lip mussels. The only problem was, when they were finished, I completely forgot to turn on a camera. They were so delicious that we all just gobbled them all up. You're just going to have to take my word for it. And, if you don't believe me, just ask me. Keep it quite low and slow and away from the mussels and they should be delicious. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Paris for your hospitality during my time in Te Hapua, and thank you to Shantaine for taking us out on your awesome boat. To all of you at home, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, and as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoy my content, remember to like and subscribe.